and what. Now, Bob Babbage, the Aztecs last week meeting Hawaii, a run-oriented team. Is Utah similar? Yes, they are. They have a very big, strong, aggressive offensive line and probably the best running back in Utah history in Dell Rogers. So the Aztecs have to stop Rogers. Yes, they will. It'll be a very physical ball game. This offensive line is big and strong, as we said, and uh, they'll come at you. Now, by the same token, the last couple of weeks, the Aztecs and their losses have been hampered by blitzes of Matt Kofler at quarterback. Obviously, Utah will see that. Well, they found out that the success of stopping the San Diego State passing attack has put a lot of pressure on Matt. New Mexico did it with blitzes. Hawaii, BYU also. I think Utah will do the same thing today. Now, Bob Babbage in the mountains and around the edge of the field are some white stuff. You care to explain that? Well, I think it's white sand, but it's just a little wetter. White sand, huh? Hmm. Well, for San Diego folks, don't see too much snow. At any rate, it is a bright, sunshiny day, and we'll have the Doug Scoville Show right after this. The Divers. All from Salt Lake City and all. Burdett, athletic director at San Diego State with a special message. Gene? Thanks, Ron. Over the past 12 years, Dave Ball and Ball Olds Honda have been great supporters of the Aztec Athletic Foundation. And this year they've come up with what I think is a great idea. Every time the Aztecs score a touchdown during the season, Ball Olds Honda will contribute $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. Well, we'd like to thank Ball Olds and wish them a great year. And we all hope the Aztecs score a lot of touchdowns and really get into Dave's pocket. And Doug, going into this ball game against Utah, now a couple of things of note uh, entering the game, one of which is that coming off the loss to Hawaii, a predominantly running team, Utah seems to be a predominantly running team also. Is that correct? That's correct. They, they run the ball very well. They have an excellent offensive line. All right, now they have a running back named Del Rogers. Seems like he's been around for a long time. It sure so. does. <laughs> About 100 years. Yes, it does. Now, how, what kind of a runner would you describe him? Similar to Gary Allen of Hawaii? I don't know if he's quite as elusive. Uh, he has maybe a little more power, but uh, I don't think he's quite as good as Gary Allen. But he's excellent back. Now, Utah is going good. They've got 6-1 record. They're 3-0 in the whack. Seemingly, on paper at least, they have a very large offensive and defensive line. Right. That's, that's where their, their team... Uh, strength really is. Their defensive line has not had as much publicity as the offensive line, but uh, we know that they're very quick. We've studied the films. They're, they're big and quick, and uh, we're going to have our hands full keeping them away from Matt. Okay, and obviously you've spent, I know, the practice week working on picking up the blitz because that's been a problem. Right, we certainly have. All right, the Aztecs meeting the University of Utah Utes, and we'll have the opening kickoff right after this. They should have been eaten by something. Is this what the biologist was trying to warn us about, maybe? I don't know. Wayne Crawford and Jason Evers star in Barracuda, tonight on the 6 o'clock movie. The Coke machine. It serves ice-cold, refreshing Coca-Cola. Hardly ever runs... Match Mountains over Rice Stadium, and this first quarter of action has been brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Old Honda on a mile of cars in National City. There you see Dave Meyer as Utah won the coin toss. The Utes will receive, the Aztecs will kick off. All right, Meyer approaches the ball, the kick, a liner, bounds at the 15, a 10, goes. On the tips of Monroe's fingers at the 10. 15, finds a hole, gets to the 24. Bernadine and the Aztecs get to him there and pound him down at the 24-yard line. So we'll take a look at the Utah offense to start this football game. As they are directed by senior quarterback Tice Ferguson. Key man will be number 33, Dell Rogers. their 5'9", senior running back out of Salinas, California. Outstanding rusher. Second in the whack, averaging 85 yards a game. Fullback is Rob Richeson out of the I formation on first down at the 25. Give is the fullback. Richeson hole at the left side, breaks it 30, 35, and goes all the way to the 40. Stop made by Mike Fox. Just a quick hitter, Ron. They split the guard and tackle. There was large splits. Usually you have a one-yard split between the guard and the center and a two-yard split between the guard and the tackle. They widened that out to two and four. It spread out the San Diego defense, and they just hit a quick hitter right up the middle. Well, coming into the ballgame, Richardson, third leading rusher with a 6.2 average, went for 15 yards that time in a first down. Ferguson back to pass. That's up. Dumps it off to Rogers, who can't handle it. It's a loose ball. They'll call it a... Incomplete forward pass, though, not a lateral. 
Ball thrown a little bit low at Rogers' feet, shifting out of the backfield. Ron, a key to the ball game for the Utah offense is to watch number 76, Jack Campbell, their offensive tackle, and 65, Wayne Jones. They play on the same side, and 75 to 80 percent of the plays that they're going to run will be to the side of those two players. Uh, Utah, a predominantly running team. They did throw a lot in the first two ball games, but more run-oriented now as Jim Tehan, a wide receiver, sets out wide to the left. Tony Graham, flanker wide right on second and ten out of split backs. Give is to Richardson, a fullback, and he goes nowhere, trying to duck in at the 40-yard line. Middle of the Aztec defensive line there to meet him. Look it up. Linebacker is uh, Bill Fairbrother in there, along with Kevin Ritchie. Actually, it's a loss of one. Right, this, is what the Aztecs, this is what the Aztecs have to do, get them in a passing Third situation. Down, Utah is not a very good passing team. They could, they could complete the short passes, the four or five yarders, but the 11, 12 yarders, the middle range passes, they're not really adept at it. Ferguson is a 58% passer on the year. He's only put it up 95 times, though. He's facing here. A third and 11, straight back to pass. Sets up, has time, now pressure. They're running out of there, hit. Rattles it off to his tight end. And still in trouble in the backfield and finally brought down by the Aztecs for a big loss at the 29-yard line. Jerome Franey in there doing a nice job. Penetration along with Todd Seaball. Hillgard, the tight end, was just coming up to help. Yeah, he was staying in on pass protection. They were expecting the Aztecs to blitz, and he was just coming back in. He's helping out. You can see him lined up there in a the slot. Just coming back, watching for the Aztec blitz. Doesn't see anybody. The Aztecs coming from the other side. Ferguson wisely just gets the ball away, gives it right to Elgard, but the rest of the Aztecs were there. A bad snap on the punt, and trying to get the kick away, and it's blocked by the Aztecs. Loose ball, scramble, and San Diego State will have the ball inside the 15-yard line. Number 44, Rick Boyer blocked the punt. The snap looked pretty good, but I think the punter just bobbled it. Right. We were down on the field earlier. It is a little wet, so the ball can get a little slippery through the course of the day. So a big break for the Aztecs as they block a punt and now take over the football. First and 10 at the Utah 13-yard line. Matt Kofler brings his club to the line of scrimmage on first down. Matt looking over the defense. Corners are up tight as Matt on a draw up the middle. Bull Williams and no running play. Bull is hammered. I think he fumbled. Yes, and Utah recovers. Well, he was hit there by number 99, Steve Clark. He's their best defensive lineman. He's a All-American candidate. He was all, all whack last year, first team, and uh, he should be the best defensive lineman in the league. Let's number 99, you can see him at the top of your screen. He'll be slanting down to the inside as they had a safety blitz on. Watch number 99 coming in, beats his block, and meets Will Williams head on, causing the fumble. So two turnovers immediately after a block punt. The Aztecs fumble the ball, and Utah gets it right back at the 16-yard line. Tice Ferguson sets his ball club. Pitch to Rogers, trying to shoot to the left side. Cuts it in, at the 18 goes up to the 20, and he has to get to him there. Todd Seaball making the stop for San Diego State, along with Alan Dale. It'll be a pickup of three yards to the 20. Ron will see a lot of that play. They like to sweep out of the high formation, and it's the only formation that they'll run to the weak side on. There's the Aztecs defense up front. Mike Vance, Morgan, and the linebackers and secondary. Second down seven, Utah. From the left hash mark, Ferguson. Draw, Rodgers, hold up the middle, squirts through it to the 25, gets to the 26-yard line, and hold down there. Dell Rodgers, they call him Popcorn, and looks to have the first down. Maybe a little short, Ron. Depends on where they mark it. Well, the officials will bring the chains in. So the football resting now at the 26-yard line where it's first and 10. Splitbacks. Rodgers and Richardson. Ferguson under center. Gives inside handoff. Fullback Richardson finds a hole. Bangs through across the 30 up to the 34-yard line. Bob Richardson out of Clearfield, Utah, a senior, 190 pounds, brought down by Alan Dale, along with Mike Fox. Ron, it's just a quick trap. There you see Wayne Jones, 65, trapping, and it's a cross action. Rogers going to the right, and giving back to uh, Richardson, coming back on the left side. Just a quick trap up the middle. Steve Allman comes in now at nose guard for the Aztecs, replacing Jeff Morgan. As that play gained eight yards, second down two. 
And on a reverse, coming around, flanker. Carl Monroe, and he is hit down. Looks to have first down yardage. There is a penalty flag down. Against the Aztecs, a major penalty. So apparently an illegal hit by San Diego State. 15-yard walk-off. Those are the kind of penalties that really hurt you. So it takes the ball all the way to the 48 of San Diego State into Aztec territory. Utah's second first down on this drive. First down, Utah. Now Graham sits out wide to the right. Tehan to the left. Monroe sets up as a wing to the left. Back to passes, Ferguson sets up, fires, intercepted by San Diego State at the 40-yard line. That is Alvin Bush. So Ferguson, on first down, intercepted for the eighth time this year. Take a look at it again. Just a semi-roll. He tries to force it in. Alvin is right in the way between the receiver and the ball. It picks it up. Nice interception. Quite frankly, it was a lousy pass. It was a terrible pass, but... Those are the kind we like to see. So Alvin Bush with the interception for San Diego State. And that's his first this season. Aztecs on offense now. You guys first and 10 at their own 40. Kofler sets his club. Now they shift with Bull Williams, the lone setback. Matt rolls left, looking to pass, still looking. And he's going to run it. Tries to the short side of the field, not much running room. And he's bumped out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Try to get to Darius Durham downfield. Darius involved in a little bump and run with cornerback Johnny Taylor could get free. Good coverage by Taylor. He was step for step with uh, Darius. L.A. called it a two-yard pickup to the 42-yard line for Kofler and the Aztecs. Second down eight coming up. Pick it up. Phil Smith sets out wide to the right, Durham to the left. Dallas and Williams are the setbacks on second down eight. Kofler. Back to pass. Last time fires over the middle. Inner incomplete. Tight end Jim Botra was all open. Passed a little bit high. Catchable, but he couldn't haul it in. Jim Botro. So this will bring up a third and eight. Coming into this ball game, Matt Kofler, 63% passer. To intercepted eight times. Yeah. For nine touchdowns. Here's the Aztec offense. And the offensive line. Third and eight from the 42-yard line. Kofler back to pass again. Pressured, hit, and dropped for a loss. So Matt is sacked at the 37-yard line. They had a strong safety blitz, number five, Lonnie Lawson. Lawson was coming in from top of the screen. They had a stun in the middle with number 99, Steve Clark, and 89, Mark Anderson, the two defensive linemen. We'll get another look at it right here. See Clark coming in, coming down on an angle. Clear shot at Matt. Now, the Aztecs are hurting the offensive line. What with uh, Brian Scuddy and Kevin Howell injured and not here on the trip. Greg Foster starting at one tackle position. So it's fourth down to Mike Jeslin to punt. Reggie Wilson awaiting the kick for the Utes. Jeslin. Low snap. Flags are down. Gets the kick away. And the officials will halt play. Coming into this game, Jeslin averaging 43.5. Average punt. Penalty against Utah, apparently. Aztecs seemed quite pleased. Legal procedure. May give him the first down. Now, what is the legal procedure on defense? Five yards, I believe. Well, but... Uh, Somebody just... It was encroachment. They were over the ball before right. the snap. But it was fourth and 14, so it moves the ball to the 41-yard line. So it makes it fourth. Nine. Jeslin now will be punting from uh, the 25 yard line. Jim Butro handling the long snaps. That's the official to change the football. Butro, normally a tight end, doing the long snaps last couple of weeks. Getting a little poise. If he doesn't like the football, let's get one in there. That's, that's dry. It's probably a little wet, a little slippery. Even though it's AstroTurf, it is wet. It's it's had a lot of snow here in the last week. And the field is rather soggy. Oh. All 
All right, Jeslin, low snap again. He gets it on the hop, and the kick is away. A wobbly kick, a high one. Fair catch call for it, but a bounce. An Aztec bounce off a of Utah man. And I believe the Aztecs recover. Oh, my, Bob Babbage. What a great break. They have, to, they have to capitalize on it. This is the time that they have to take the ball and put it in the end zone. That'll get the defense fired up, and I think that'll break them out of their slump that they've been in for the last two weeks. It was a short kick, and the receiver tried to get out of the way, but he slipped but fell, and Butro himself recovered. The snapper. It's a good so, hustle by Jim getting down there. So the Aztecs get the ball in the Utah 23-yard line. Two turnovers. Hopefully sets up shop, first and 10, and rolls left on first down. Still rolling out, dumps it off. Craig Ellis, who is hit, and drops the ball. They'll call it an incomplete pass. Utah fans thought it should have been a fumble. That was awful close, though, Ron. It looked like he had possession, and he was turning up field when he was hit. It's a good break for San Diego State. Bull Williams put a tremendous block on number 90, Jeff Reyes. I don't know if we'll see it again on a replay, but he just flat knocked him down on his backside. So the incomplete pass will bring up a second and 10. No score in the ball game. Played a little more than five minutes. Aztecs offensively in Utah territory for the second time. Slot formation left. Hopefully long count, Matt back to pass. As time now fires, incomplete. Jennifer Bull Williams circling out of the backfield, but it was a little high and he couldn't hold it. So the incomplete pass will bring up a third and 10. So San Diego State having a little trouble getting on track offensively, even though they've been presented with two golden opportunities in Utah territory. Just can't let those opportunities pass without taking advantage of it. At least getting three points. Durham to the left, Smith to the right. On third down, Kofler rolls left, looks upfield. Now fires, and beautiful catch by Darius Durham at the six-yard line. Sensational catch. So the ball catch was really low. He had a dive for it. It was good concentration. Kept his hands. We'll see it again. Here's Matt. Throwing it. It wasn't a real good pass. You can see it's low and away, but it was away from the defender, which is good. Darius stretched out, making a fine catch. Good concentration. Good hands. Absolutely. So the first completion, the Aztecs have first and goal at the seven-yard line of Utah. Sideline left, open field to the right. Kofler rolls right, looks to the end zone. Now fires and incomplete. Tended again for, this time for Phil Smith. A little out of his reach. It's a good move by Phil. He's running straight. He faked inside, had the cornerback hesitating a little, and he broke to the outside. It was wide open. The pass was just a little, little too short for him. Matt might not be loose. It's a little chilly today. It's a little cold. It takes him a while to get his arm warmed up. Coming to this ball game, Matt Kofler, 12th in the nation, passing efficiency, 133 rating. Second in the nation total offense back to Jim McMahon. Second down goal, Aztecs, at the 7 of Utah. Kofler, back to pass again. Now fires into the end zone, complete Durham, touchdown Aztecs. Number 80, Darius Durham, good for the touchdown. Utah in a strong safety blitz, Lawson coming in from the strong side, but a man-to-man -man coverage. Darius just made a nice move, and it's a nice pass by Matt. So the Aztecs jump in front, six to nothing, seven yard pass, Kofler to Durham. And for Darius, that's his fourth touchdown reception of the year. And Dave Meyer the comes on to try the extra Dave point. Meyer. Essex went 23 yards in seven plays. Kick is on its way. And it is good. So 9.07 to play first quarter. It is Aztecs 7, Utah nothing. We'll be back right after this. Let's return to the action with Utah in possession. At the 10, it's a draw. No, rolling out is Ferguson the pass. Good fake. Now he's in trouble. Hit, and Alvin Bush wraps him up at the 10-yard line. Nice fake by uh, Ferguson, and then rolled out to the right, looking for a wide-open receiver, which there were none. Ferguson is not really a good running quarterback, and uh, it's going for one man, Tehan, and he wasn't open. Here's a good fake into the line. He, good job. It faked a lot of people out, faked me. Couldn't find Tehan open. Put the ball away. 
Boom. Calvin Bush making a nice play. Here comes Todd Seabaugh to finish him off. So the football now at the 11-yard line where it is second down at 26 for the Utes. Tehan to the left, Graham to the right. Ferguson straight back to pass his time. Has time, now fires quickly out to Monroe. Back at the 12, breaks one tackle, but a lot of Aztecs there, and they hammer him at the 15-yard line. For what will be a gain of about three, four yards is all, as he checked off to running back Carl Monroe. Jeff Morgan, 96, coming from his nose guard spot, but a good shot on Monroe. And that just shows you, when you have a nose guard, he's rushing the passer, coming back down and making a tackle six yards downfield. That shows that the Aztecs are up for the ball game, and they're hustling today. So it'll be third down at 23. Aztecs lead it seven to nothing. Time Graham out to the right. T hand to the left. Ferguson straight back to pass. Sets up now. Dumps it off. Has a screen to Monroe at the 15, 20. And Dave Crude up there to knock him down at the 25 yard line. After a pickup of about 10 yards, but way short of first down yardage needed. The Aztecs have hauled it. Utah forced Utah to punt. Here it is Quick again. screen. We'll see Ferguson throwing it out. You'll see a great block by number 68, Daryl Haley on Seba. Crudup coming over there, and Alvin Bush and Franey making the tackle. So the Utes will punt. Last one was blocked from the 13-yard line. And this one is almost blocked by Vernon Dean. Waiting for it, Donnie Roberts at the 35. Straight up field, breaks one tackle, goes to the 39, and that's all. And it's all down there. Once again, the Essex have good field position. So San Diego State leading in the ball game, seven to nothing with the football. Passes back. As we pick up the play, it's the Aztecs ball. Coming into this football game, as a team, San Diego State averaging only 67 yards rushing, Utah 264. It's one of the reasons they want to get out ahead and get them out of that rushing uh, mode or trend or whatever you want to call it. First and 10, Aztecs. Kofler sets his club on first down. Matt with a long count. Quickly, a slip screen. Clinton Sampson moving up field. A lot of Utes there, but he threads his way through traffic across the 45, maybe the 46. Try a quick slip screen to the short side of the field. Tackle. Kind of break, Go break a quick one. Mark Anderson making the tackle, 89. That's an effective play. If you could uh, get that one big block, you could pick up a lot of yardage on it. Especially to the wide side of the field. No surprise they threw it to the short side. Well, they were hoping that Utah would be zoning the strong side and puts one less man over there on the weak side, and that way... Hopefully they get that one block and pick up a long game. Gonna get three yards out of it in a second down seven coming up. Kofler rolls left this time, looks upfield. Still looking, Matt in trouble, running, ah, still running at 45, tripped up, dies forward to the 50 yard line. And all down there in front of the Aztec bench. Yes, Kofler looking for a receiver to get clear, finding none under pressure. Picks up about three, four yards right to midfield. Matt rolling out, trying to get out of there, give himself a little more time. Botro's open on the other side, but Matt can't see him. He gets too much pressure. Here comes 93. Jordan Stone just tripping him up. Matt falling forward for another three yards. Aztecs looking at a third and a long three from midfield. 38 seconds of play in the quarter. Kofler back to pass again. Blitz is on, dumps it off. Bull Williams, 40. Still running to the 33 of Utah. Kerry Williams, first down, San Diego State. Boy, he's been call. open all day and he's missed it twice. Comes the blitz. Bull's just checking right out of the backfield. Matt hits him perfectly. Now he's off to the races. Good strong runner. Runs over one man and finally knocked down by 21, Tony Reed, in free safety. Aztecs in Utah territory again. They lead 7 0. First and 10. Utah 33 yard line. Kofler back to pass. Quick drop fires. Durham, nice catch by Darius at the 25 into the 24. In heavy traffic. Quick slant in. Matt drilled that in there because number 60, Gomp, the middle linebacker, was dropping back there to the weak side. And he put it right in there. He's real close. Gomp almost gets a hand on it. Good concentration by Darius, right in the crowd catching the ball. Durham with three catches today. And that'll do it. Time expires. The end of the first quarter. Look at the scoreboard. San Diego State, seven. Utah, nothing.
This period brought to you in part by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Olds Honda on the mile of cars in National City. With Bob Babich and Chris Tunis, this is Ron Rina. Aztecs with a second down and two. Utah 25. Kofler, quarterback, sneak straight ahead. Going for first down yardage to the, about the 23-yard line and close to the first down. Matt just following his center, Matt Long. Why not? Kind of a 4-3 look that Utah gives on defense, so there's a little gap there. Right. A lot of times they won't even call a quarterback sneak. They may have a dive call in the huddle, and he'll go out there, and if Matt sees something, he'll just tap the center on uh, on one side of his butt, and the ball snap, and he just follows him that way. That's known as the back of the lap. Back of the lap. There yes. you go. Now that's good enough for a first down. So first and 10 Aztecs in Utah territory at the 22-yard line. The first period, Matt was 5 for 10 for 51 yards and a touchdown. Aztecs rushed six times for zero yards. Utah 14 times for 49 yards. All right, first down. Aztecs show motion. Jessup for the first time. Both back to pass again. Quick slant and Durham couldn't quite hold it. As he's going one-on-one -on -one with cornerback Johnny Taylor. I think Taylor's kind of hanging out for dear life. Like there could have been a little interference on that too. He was hanging on there before the ball was caught. It's just a quick three-step drop. Matt likes this pattern. He just fires it in. And Johnny Taylor. Just a little high, Taylor defending, coming over 60, Gomp. Like a little spearing shot there. Now it looks to me like the cornerbacks are playing very tight on the line scrimmage, playing bump and run, and so giving the Aztecs, if they can get past that, a little one-on-one -on -one coverage. They're challenging the Aztec wide receivers. Second and 10, Aztecs. And Kofler back to pass, blitz is on, has time, dumps it off, and incomplete intercepted by Utah. In and out of the hands of Craig Ellis. Circling out of the backfield. And coming up to grab it for Utah, linebacker Bill Gomp. Number 60. Oh, You're in a zone defense there. Matt read the zone, tried to dump it off to the back, coming across the middle, just slid right out of his hands, right into the hands of the linebacker. Matt's getting good protection by that offensive line. He has time. Sees all his, there he goes, ball just slid right out of his hand. It was catchable. So Matt intercepted for the ninth time this year. Seven to nothing, Aztecs lead it. Utah on offense at the 18-yard line. Tice Ferguson sets his play. Out of split backs. And again, this time Monroe trying to sweep and gets the line of scrimmage, turns it up across the 20 to the 23. Aztecs close down on him and making the hit. It's Kevin Ritchie, Dave Crudo, cornerback, and Rick Reeder. Rick played that very well. He fought off the lead blocker, coming back to the inside and making the tackle on Monroe. Ball placed at the 23. It's a four yard gain, second down six coming up. Tehan wide to the left, Graham to the right. Ferguson under center. Guess his time to Monroe and he goes nowhere. Boy, what surge by the Aztec defensive line. Most notably, Kevin Ritchie. And Jerry Franey both coming in. Trying to run it to the strong side, weak guard pulling. Nowhere to run, Franey neutralizes the block of the guard, and Kevin Ritchie comes in there and makes the hit. Good play on that side. That's very important for that weak side linebacker and that defensive tackle to work together. Everybody works together as a little unit. The three men in the middle, the two middle linebackers, and the nose guard work together as a unit, and the two tackles and the outside linebackers work together for a unit. Well, it's third and seven, Utah. And Ferguson back to pass. Fires it off Monroe, hit in the backfield. Recognizes it right away. It was Crudup who came right up from the cornerback position. And Dave leveled Monroe in the backfield for a loss of four yards. Good play by Dave Crudup. He reads it quick. It's that little slip screen with the guard pulling. Dumps it out to Monroe. Crudup beats the block, makes a fine play. It's a good read. So fourth down. Todd Spear to punt again for Utah from around his six yard line. Donnie Roberts waiting for it at the Aztec 40. And this one almost blocked also. Oh, they're going to call roughing the kicker. A break for Utah as the punt goes out of bounds. So after some excellent defense by the Aztecs, roughing the kicker will be the call, and that'll be a first down for Utah. A break for the Utes. Darrell Hall came roaring in there. I thought he was going to block it. Sometimes you just lose control. He comes in, he has a good angle. You can see him on the right side of your screen, number 49. Diving up, the kicker wisely just left his leg up there a little long, longer than usual, and Daryl caught a part of it. So that'll be a first down for the Utes as their punting game 
and kicking game overall has been a little thrilling because uh, the Aztecs have put pressure on a punter every time. First and 10 at the 34. This is the fourth meeting between the two. Last year at San Diego Stadium, the Aztecs won it. At Corral field goal, late in the game, 21-20, last game of the year. Aztecs won here in Salt Lake City two years ago, 17-13. Utah won at San Diego the year before, 20-18. So they've all been close. Ferguson on first down to the eye. Pitch to Monroe, and he's hitting the backfield. Never really got going. But once again, Monroe. Jerry Brady. Brady making a great play. He's having an outstanding season. He's come a long way since uh, he was a running back last year, and even in spring ball, he's playing at fullback, and they moved him over with the last week in the spring ball, and he's really progressed, and now he's a starting outside linebacker. Interesting story. He's out of Bakersfield and uh, played uh, running back in high school and junior college. Walk on at San Diego State a year ago. And uh, has only played linebacker for a short time. And at that, for a one-yard loss, Utah wants to take time out and discuss as the Aztec bench on your screen. And with the Aztecs on top, 7 nothing. we'll be back right after this. As we pick up the play, it's Utah ball. Played four minutes, second quarter. Graham out to the right. Wise to the left. Tehan sets out to the left. And here's Ferguson back to pass again. Aztecs have a blitz on, and Tice Ferguson gets away. 35, 40, still running, and Vernon Dean bumps him out of bounds in front of the Aztec bench at the 49-yard line. Oh, it looked like he was going to be stopped for a big loss. Slipped out of the hands of Brad Williams and I believe Alan Dale. He had man-to-man -man coverage. They had a blitz. Franey covering the back, coming out of the backfield. There was nobody left on the weak side, so he's able to get out that way. He gets right out of Brad's hands. Nobody else there because the back ran across the field, taking the linebacker with him. So he had a lot of room to run. So Ferguson picks up 12 yards, and it'll be third and eight for the Utes. On third down. Ferguson back to pass again. Pressured again by Williams. Can't get him. Still pressured. Now he shoves it off to Monroe, and it's a foot race. 35, 40. He's got blockers. Bays at midfield. Still running. And finally brought down at the Aztec 39-yard line. Tripped over his own blocker. He had a lot of room. Ferguson showing good composure. Just flipping the ball off. A lot of pressure. I believe Brad Williams once again getting in Scott free. There's Franey. And the grabs just drops it right off to Monroe. And Monroe, as we said, has great speed. He just takes off. There's some blockers out front. And there he trips over Johnson, number 19, his own man. Or he could have gone all the way. Boy, ad lib time. And Utes get something going. Another first down. They're in Aztec territory at the 38-yard line. That brings the crowd alive. First down, Ferguson back to pass again. Sets up. Pressure to once more. Rolling out of there. Now he throws as a man open. Complete and hit down at the 25-yard line by Alvin Bush. We have a flag in a defensive secondary, so I don't know if it's offensive interference pushing off or one of the Aztecs got caught holding back there. Steve Cox, the flanker, slipped out into the open. As Ferguson again under pressure. Watch this. Aztecs are putting good rush on there. Reeder and Brad Williams again in the backfield. He's having a pretty good afternoon getting to the quarterback. Alvin Bush coming right on. Penalty against the Aztecs. Like was holding in the secondary. So Utah will decline the penalty, take the advancement. Another first down for the Utes, and they are driving. 7 0, Aztecs lead it. Utah, in not exactly a picture perfect drive, has the ball first and 10 at the San Diego State 24. Ferguson is 7 for 10 passing. He's been intercepted once. Good enough for 60 yards. On first down, full house backfield. Yeah. There's to Rogers. Del Rogers still running. Close to the 16-yard line. It's what they call their power eye formation. They have the tailback lining up right behind the fullback, and then they bring in an extra blocking back to the other side. It's basically nothing more than a lead play. They fake to the fullback and give it to the tailback. It's the same play that was run last week with great success by Hawaii against San Diego State. That play picks up nine yards. Second down one, Utes. 15-yard line. Full house backfield again. Quick pitch, Rodgers. His flags go down. Try to sweep Dave Coleman in there to make the hit on Rodgers, but... 
flags went down as the ball was snapped. I think it's going to be a legal procedure. Look like coming to the offensive lineman pulled up out of their stance. 908 the play and a half. Aztecs on top, 7 to nothing. We have those three guys in the backfield with Richardson, 44, Rogers, 33, and Monroe, 25. That's a pretty good backfield. Now it's Johnson and Rogers, the setbacks into the eye formation. On second down, Ferguson pitch to Rogers, hitting the backfield and drop. Sean Franey again, sinking in there from his outside linebacker position, doing a job. Doing a great job. He beat the block of number 19. Johnson comes in, makes the tackle. It was a good play. That was probably one of the hardest plays for an outside linebacker to fight off of that block because most of the time he's going to get cut by that fullback. Here he just fights right off and makes a nice play. He was in that backfield. He read it very quickly. That's a loss of one. Now it's third down and seven for the Utes. Aztec defense rises up again. Graham sits out to the right. T hand to the left. More than likely this will be a running play. Out of the eye. It is. Give Rogers up the middle of the hole and squirts down to the 15 yard line. Dell Rogers, close to first down yardage. Showed some real good quickness getting through that hole. Just a straight ahead blocking. Rogers cutting very quickly. Steps over Ellen Dale, I believe, and then trips up. Very close to a first down. The ball knows just over the 15 yard line. So, measurement called for. And placement of the chains. Short. Fourth down and in inches. I'm sure we'll see a full house backfield and they'll just run that lead play and try to pick up that first down and keep this drive going. It's be a great time for that San Diego Aztec to ri defense to rise to the occasion and stop him here. It'll be a ri real big bolt. Here's Richardson checking into the backfield. And he's their best blocking back. We'll take a flanker out. Now they bring Graham in. Uh, Utah, fourth and inches. We'll go for it. Johnson, Richardson, and Rogers are the setbacks on fourth down. Ferguson. Give yeah, Rogers up the middle. He's got the first down to the 13 yard line. Dale Rogers pounds in there. He wanted to go off the right side up behind Campbell and Jones, but that was stuffed up pretty good. Rogers cutting back in. And Allen Dale in there beating him. Short gain, but it was enough for a first down. So at the 13 yard line, Utah has a first and 10. 7.52 to play in a half. Aztecs on top, 7 0. Best drive of the game for the Utes. They start at their own 18 yard line. On first down, Ferguson. Under center. Pullback Johnson up the middle. 10 to the 9 yard line to the 8. Franey making a stop for San Diego State along with Alan Dale. Hillary Johnson. Alan Dale, a a a stop for San Diego State. Rick Boyer checks in the Aztec defense now, in place of uh, Bill Fairbrother. It's a five yard gain. Second and five coming up. Utah's deepest penetration of the ball game. Graham sits out to the right. Double tight end this time. Ferguson. Get to Johnson at the six, the five, under the three yard line. Bill Reed Johnson. Johnson trying to go off tackle, reading that there was nothing there, breaks it to the outside. He did this mostly on his own. Brad Williams and Steve Allman plugged up the hole. And he just breaks it to the outside. Alvin Bush coming in, making the tackle. Now the Aztecs bring Doug Reed in now. Trying to get a little beef on that defensive line. Rick Boyer comes out. Aztecs in a goal line defense. First and goal at the three yard line for Utah. Full house backfield. On first down, Ferguson. Rogers hit, missed. Hit, missed. Goes in for a touchdown. Well, they had him in the backfield, but they missed two tackles and he goes in easily. Looks like we're going to have a football game here. Utah wouldn't just lie down and die, even with all the bad breaks they've had. It's going to be a tough one. Dell Rogers bangs in from three yards out as Utah just went 82 yards in 17 plays. Quick fetch. One missed tackle there. Another missed tackle there, and he goes in very easily. So a 
nice drive by the Utes. Got off the hook a couple of times. And on comes Gil Alvarez, who is 30 for 30 in placements, trying to add extra point in what is now a 7-6 ball game. Ball is kicked on its way. And it is good. So it's all tied. Seven to seven with 6.33 to play in a half. We'll be back with the Utah kickoff right after this. Utah ball, first and 10. And a 47-yard punt by Jeslin. So now the defense back out on the field. First and 10, Utes. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Tice Ferguson out of split backs, back to pass, sets up, has time, throws, and it is incomplete. Tehan, the attendant receiver, but he obviously trapped the ball and bounded up into his hands. Coverage by Vernon Dean. He's running it out, and the pass was just a little short. This is the time the Aztecs have to get a big break on defense. They have to make something happen to get that, neutralize that momentum and get it back going the other way. Now for Aztec fans, Aztec basketball tickets coming off a 15-12 season. Should be ranked in the top 20 beginning of the year. Season tickets are on sale now. You can call 283-7096 for your Aztec basketball season tickets. 283-7096. Second down, 10. Full house backfield. Yeah. Monroe hit in the backfield and stopped right at the 50-yard line. Once again, Jerry Franey fighting off the block of pulling guard Daryl Haley, making a good play. He's doing a great job against the run today. Play picks up one yard and forces Utah into a third and nine. Ten left to play in the half. Seven-seven ball game. Graham sits out to the left in a slot with Tehan. Out of the eye formation. Give is to Monroe. Brad Williams just sheds the blocker, reaches over and hits him down at the 46 of San Diego State. That'll do it for Utah on this drive. So it's fourth down. Aztecs will get the ball back. Spear, Spear back to punt for the U.S. Damage 36 yards a punt. It's a high snap, but the ball is away. High spiral. Donnie Roberts back there. Signal score takes a Utah bounce. And a break for the Utes. As it bounces and it down at about the three-yard line. Aztecs in trouble, 7-7 seven, seven ball game, and we'll be back right after this. We pick up the play, it's Utah ball. All right, in this one, 7-7 seven, seven to score, 20 seconds remaining. And the Utes looking at a third down and six at the Aztec 39-yard line. Tice Ferguson back to pass. Sets up, delivers, it is complete. Rogers right in front of Seaball. Seaball met at himself, wanted to intercept that. Rogers coming into the backfield, took it, stepped out of bounds to stop the clock, but short of first down yardage. So Utah got down to the Aztec 35. It is fourth down, and they will now apparently try a field goal. About 52 yards, Ron. Alvarez comes on to try the field goal. From the 45-42 yard line, so it'll be a 52-yard kick. Ball is down, the kick is on its way, and it's going to be short, no good. So Alvarez now nine for 14 in field goals. Aztecs dodge a bullet, take over the football with just nine seconds remaining in the half. Just one more yard, he might have had it. That's right, even here in altitude. That's right. So Kofler and the offense check back on. With the football at the 39 of San Diego State. Nine seconds remaining. Matt will put it up on first down. Back to pass, looking up field, being chased. Still looking, and he's going to run it and go out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That took seven seconds. Go for a chase by Sean Newell, a defensive tackle, 6'3", sophomore from Riverside. Those defensive linemen doing a lot of running for Utah. Sure are. They're very active up front. That's their strongest point of their defense. They're big and they're strong, and they have a lot of quickness in there, even though 
the size. You wouldn't think a guy about 6'3", 245 or 250 pounds could uh, move like that, but it's surprisingly. So the play loses four, and it's second and 14 with two seconds to go, so coming up the last play of the half. Kofler <laughs> sets his club. Pat rolls left this time, looks up field, trying to find somebody open, looks. For Durham, throws long, and it is in the complete. Not down by Charlie Reed, and there's the gun. That ends the first half of play. San Diego State Aztecs, seven. University of Utah, seven. The 19th Murray time, Rice Stadium, Salt Lake City, scores Aztecs seven, and University of Utah, seven. Aztecs scoring on that pass from Matt Kofler to Darius Durham. And in a pass like that, where it looks like Matt just takes a snap and throws right away, what is the intent of a play like that? Well, it's a timing play, uh, Ron, and uh, he's trying to throw it right in the seam between the linebackers, and uh, Darius made a nice catch and took it on in. I guess once he, Matt sees it, he's got single coverage on Darius, boom, that's the guy to go to down there. Right, he had to beat the cornerback who was inside of him, so he did a good job beating the cornerback inside, and then Matt drilled it between the linebackers, and we got the six. Okay, now it's 7-7 seven, seven at halftime, Doug, and you had an opportunity, you had the uh, punt uh, block, and you got down inside uh, Utah's 15 couple times and unable to score. That had to be frustrating to you. Uh, very frustrating. We had a couple of fumbles that we we just haven't done this season. We, we really haven't fumbled the ball much, and uh, it hurt us. It really did. We, we should have we had at least 14 points at halftime. Now, when you have a situation where, like, uh, uh, Matt throwing the interception in the end zone, is that just a quick reaction thing where he uh, misreads the coverage, or, or is it a great play on the defense, or a combination of both? Oh, probably a combination of both. Okay, because I know Matt was very frustrated about that and very upset. So the score is 7-7 at halftime. Aztecs and the University of Utah will be back with more of Doug Scoble right after this. The pass is back with head coach Doug Scoble at San Diego State Aztecs. Halftime, 7-7 score, Aztecs in Utah. Doug, before we get into the second half, I wanted a, a note from you on special teams. For instance, you have a coach, Gary Zahner, who handles nothing but special teams. I assume you put special emphasis on it. Uh, very definitely. We work on it every day, Ron. It's extremely important. Uh, we cover every special team throughout the week, uh, sometimes twice. And uh, Gary does a great job with the teams and with the kickers. And it's, it's between 20 and 30 percent of the game. So we feel it's, it's well worth the time. And a lot of times that can give us the winning edge. Well, by the same token, I note that the people who are playing special teams for the Aztecs are not just third stringers. These are people who normally play, so you're putting your better athletes on there. We have a lot of our first teamers on there. And uh, of course, we'd like to work the young guys in there, too. And probably as, as we go on and uh, in our recruiting and get more young players, they'll be in the special teams there and take a little load off the first team teamers as the years go through. Now, as a coaching staff, what is your attitude? You have a situation like in the first half here where Utah had a drive going, stopped, and then you had a roughing the kicker penalty, which really helped them. Uh, I assume that you don't really get down on a guy for that, for making an effort like that? Uh, no, we don't. A lot of times it's a, it's a judgment call on part of the official, and there are times when we're blocked into them, and, and they call it anyway, which, which they shouldn't do. But it's a calculated risk, and uh, we think it's well worth it. We work on it. We haven't been called for it really until this game. Okay, and Daryl Hall went flying in there. All right, now, 7-7 seven, seven to score at halftime. So you know you're really in a tough ball game with Utah. It looked like in the second quarter they took the momentum away. What are your thoughts going into the second half of the game? Well, it's a wide open game. We, we know that uh, we, we've got to get in there and give it everything we've got and uh, feel that we can, we can move on them and that we can stop them. And uh, we, we got ahead and then uh, had a chance to, to really break it open. And uh, looked like the hand of fate stepped in there and we just didn't get the bounces. All right, the Aztecs and Utah are all tied up at 7-7. And so we'll be back with a kickoff for the second half right after this. At and this quarter brought to you in part by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Olds Honda on a mile of cars in National City. We begin the third quarter of action. Rice Stadium, Salt Lake City. Here's Alvarez approaching the football and boots it a high end over end kick deep into the end zone. Mike Fox grabs it and will not run it out. Instead, we'll take a touchback. So the Aztecs will start at the 20 yard line. Ball games tied 7 7. I'm Ron Reno along with Bob Babbage and Chris Tunis. As San Diego State, University of Utah meeting for the fourth time. Don't forget Aztec basketball coming up soon. Aztec basketball season tickets on sale now. 
at Gate F, San Diego Stadium, or by calling 283-7096, 283-7096. Aztecs with only 71 yards total offense in the first half. Kofler to pass on first down, dumps it out of the backfield. Nice play, Craig Ellis at the 30, still running, and a necktie tackle knocks him out of bounds. 35-yard line. Greg Ellis, 5'11", senior from Los Angeles, of Poly High at Santa Barbara City College. It's about one step away from breaking it because if Johnson didn't knock him out of bounds, he was gone. There was no one else there. Quick little out pattern out of the backfield. Dumps it off. The Ascots get cranked up. They had in the first half. Kofler only 6 for 18, passing 72 yards and minus one yard rushing. From the 35-yard line, first down. Matt back to pass again. Has some time. Now rolls out of there, looking upfield. Is going to run it in trouble and steps out of bounds, taking a loss at the 34-yard line. It'll be a one-yard loss. So Matt looking upfield, couldn't unload the ball. And it'll be a setback to the 34, bringing up a second and 11. Boutro checks in with a play, a tight end for John Jessup. Utah, conversely, had 184 yards total offense first half, 114 rushing, 70 passing. Second down, 11. Kofler, straight back to pass. Sets up, dumps it off. Kerry Williams in the open field, and then the Utes get to him quickly. He crosses the 35 to the 37. Trying to go underneath the coverage. That's right. Utah on his own. And that's saying he can't go deeper. Intermediate just dumps it off to his back. Trying to pick up as much as he possibly can. Kerry trying to cut him, cutting back, sort of slip. Sean as, Newell and Bill Goff making the stop. As the temperature drops, the field's going to get slicker because it was wet early in the day. It's getting later. It's going to start getting a little cooler, and the field's going to get real slick. So now it's third down and eight. Aztecs go for the pass again. Steps up and put, now dumps it off. All alone is Williams and Matt, Matt at himself, as Carey was wide open, but it was overthrown. Matt throwing on the run. That brings up a fourth down. Well, the Aztecs got one first down on that drive and now halted at the punt ball over to Utah. Back deep for the Utes, Reggie Wilson and Hillary Johnson. Jeslin punting for the third time in this ball game. Fifth time, maybe. Averaging a little better than 40 yards a punt from the 25. Gets it away, a high spiral kicking away. Lieutenant receiver, nice bounce. 15, still rolling. And down by the Aztecs inside the 15 yard line at the 13. Mike Fox down there. So a good punt by Jeslin. Pushes Utah back. And the Utes on offense for the first time. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. And Rodgers. On first down. Give Rodgers trying to right side. Shorts on the field. Breaks through at the 20, 25. And then finally Mike Fox pushes him out of bounds. Now a flag goes down late. It's going to be a personal foul on Mike Fox. Pushed him out of bounds and then just gave him that little extra shove into the Aztec bench. And they're going to call Mike with a personal foul. So Rogers with a nifty bit of running. As they came to the short side of the field, looks like the Aztecs had it clogged up and he slipped through there for about 12 yards. It'll be another 15 yards. Preliminary indication on sports for Mike Carpenter. Quick handoff to the weak side out of the I formation. Just a little hole. That shows you how quick he is. He can get through that little, little space. And there you see Mike Fox giving that extra shot. Those are the type of penalties that you don't really need. They hurt you more than really help you. It doesn't fire anybody else up. Fires them up, plus they get an extra 15 yards. So now Utah with the ball at the 46-yard line. Aztecs now penalized six times for 65 yards. Utah in the first half hit four times for 39 yards. Mike Ferguson looks over the defense. On first down. He's back to pass. Fires long, and it's intercepted. Vernon Dean at the 40, the 30, the 10. Hit and dropped down the five-yard line. Cornerback Vernon Dean. Vernon read that beautifully. He was trying to throw that long out to number 20, Jim Tehan. 
Vernon Dean stayed back there long enough. He read it, broke at the right time, and picked it up. Ferguson's back. He's trying to throw cross field. That's a hard pass to throw. Vernon waiting just for the right time, picks it up. Up to the races, number 44, Richson, the fullback, coming in, saving tackle. Puts the Aztecs in good field position down on the five yard line. All right, San Diego State, after two interceptions in this football game now, has it first and goal at the five. Kofler sets his club on first down. Matt, back to pass, looks into the end zone, intercepted by Goff, the linebacker. He's at the 10, he's at the 20, being chased, and Kofler knocks him down at the 40 yard line. Goff has been everywhere today. That, that could have been his fourth interception. He had one in the first, first half of the ball game, and he dropped two others. He picked this one up. He's having a fine day, pass defensively wise. Matt trying to throw a quick one right over the middle. Goff just comes from his middle linebacker position and picks it off. Shows he has fine speed. Runs down, Matt tracing him down. Behind him, Daryl Yarbrough coming in to help out. And so what was a good opportunity to score is now turned around and good field position for Utah. First and 10, Utes at their own 42-yard line. Interceptions back to back. On first down, Ferguson gets to Rogers up the middle. He takes it to the 45, and is hammered down there. Todd Seaball and Kevin Ritchie teaming up. It'll be a pickup of three yards. This is, this is a time when a defense has to rise to the occasion. They have to make the big play. They have to shut down Utah right now so they don't start getting a momentum here in the second half. Second down, seven. Graham to the right. Tehan to the left in a wing formation. Ferguson. Rogers again. Rogers hit behind the line of scrimmage and dropped. And that is Kevin Ritchie again. Kevin playing a lot today. Junior from Torrance. Hits Rogers down at the 45 yard line, a loss of one. So this will bring up a third and a long seven. Again, Graham to the right, and Tehan to the left out of the I formation. Ferguson fakes to Rogers. Now back to pass. Pressured, and it's going to be hit and sacked by the Aztecs back at the 34-yard line. Freeney again with good pressure. Along with Jeff Morgan, number 96, a nose guard. They had a weak side blitz. Freeney coming from his right linebacker spot, making the play. See Jeff Morgan fighting the center, coming around. Good defense by the Aztecs. Flush him out of the pocket. There's Franey and Morgan coming in, making the play. So speared a punt from his own 22-yard line. Roberts awaiting it for the Aztecs. Kick is almost blocked again. He gets it away. Roberts calls for the fair catch. And Donnie fields the ball at the 29-yard line. So the Aztecs take over the football again. 11.42 to play. As we pick up the play, it's Utah ball. Nine minutes exactly left to play. Third period. Score tied 7-7. Tian sits out to the left. Graham to the right. On third down, Ferguson wants to pass. Sets up. Going to run it out of there. 30 hit and tackle. And short of first down yardage. Good play. Jeff Morgan, Morgan making a nice play. Coming off a block and stopping him short of the first down. Jeff Morgan. Look at Wayne Howard pacing the sidelines with brown slacks and a red sweater. Now we're going to measure. I thought he was short. And chains are brought in. Well, he is short. So the Utes will punt. I'm informed that Dwayne Howard has worn that same outfit, brown pants, red sweater, through the five-game Ute winning streak. They opened the year beating Utah State, and they lost to Arizona State. Uh, successfully, uh, they have beaten Utah, Portland State, Northwestern, UTEP, Colorado State, Nevada, Las Vegas. Trying to make it six in a row today against the Aztecs. As Todd Spear to punt from his own 20. This one blocked by the Aztecs. It's a loose football way back at the 10 yard line, recovered by San Diego State. Darrell Hall. Darrell blocked it and recovered it. It's a good effort by Darrell. 
So a speedy cornerback, Daryl Hall, gets in there. Aztecs have been close to blocking a bunch. Here he comes right from the top of your screen, blocks it. Well, locates the ball, gets up. Runs for it and dives on the ball. It's a good break for the Aztecs. They're in good field position. Now they have to put it across. All right, the they Aztecs need the seven points here. got down deep and had an interception the last time they were here. So now they're at the nine-yard line, first and goal. Copeland on first down, back to pass again. Fires into the end zone. Durham catches the ball, but out of bounds, and then drops it. Copeland's pass. It's They're trying a quick three. six. Darius Durham. Out Matt out of bounds. throwing to Darius Durham, wide receiver. Incomplete. They knew they had the one and one coverage down there. He tried to loft it over the defensive back's head, then quartered in the end zone, but he just uh, sort of underthrew it. It was a little behind Darius. Notice the back of the helmets there, the stars that they put on. It's something new the Aztecs started this year for big hits and big plays. They're awarded. Second down goal to go at the nine. Kopler back to pass again. Looking up field. Nice running out of there. Looking for some running room or somebody open. And he's in trouble and it's going to be knocked out of bounds for a loss back at the 16. Good coverage by the Utah defensive secondary. Mark Anderson coming up. Matt's going for the same play, but it was covered. He tried to look to the other side. Everybody's covered there, and here comes Anderson, 89, to shove him out of bounds. So the Aztecs down, going Aztecs. backwards. Ball now at the 16-yard line. They can't get a first down. They've got to go for the touchdown. Third down, goal to go at the 16. Durham to the right, Sampson to the left. Kofler right, rolls left this time, looks upfield, still looking. Now fires into the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Darius Durham, who collided with Boutro, or else they would have had a man wide open. They're running a crossing pattern in the end zone, and they got a little too close. Ran into each other, and that, instead of seven points, they're going to have to settle for a try for a field goal. They run a lot of that. They run a pick play. They try to get everybody close together, so hopefully one of the defenders will run into one of the wide receivers, and then the other one will be scot-free, open in the end zone. But this time, it worked in reverse, and both receivers collided. So Dave Meyer comes on to try a field goal. He'll be kicking from the 24, so it'll be a 34-yard kick from the right hash mark. It's 5 for 10 on the year. Ball is down. Kick is on its way. A line drive. No good. Wide to the left. He hooked it. So that's twice the Essex have had the ball inside the 15-yard line and failed to score. 7-7 to score remains. We'll be back right after this. We pick up the play. It's the Aztecs ball. Third and six Aztecs from the 20. Kofler back to pass again. Has a man open, completes it. Smith, the 30. Phil keeps running and continues upfield to the 50 and hauled down. There's a flag down against the Aztecs, though, that may wipe out much of that game. I believe it'll be clipping, but Phil Smith took it in and rambled all the way to the 49-yard line. 28 yards. Utah seems to be happy about it, so it must be a clip. Matt Colfer doing a little finger pointing. Clipping is the call. There it is. So behind Smith, somebody trying to help him with a block and needlessly clipped. It's a quick slant over the middle. He cut it off real short. There he's Phil. Phil has that 4-4 speed, as we mentioned earlier, and he's going to go. You might be able to see the clip. It wasn't. There it is right there, number... 87, John Jessup making the clip. So from the spot of the foul, 15-yard walk-off. Moves the ball back to the 30-yard line. But it'll be a first down for San Diego State. First down, Aztecs. Ball just inside the 30-yard line. It's a costly mistake again. Right. But it's an aggressive one. You could almost excuse those kind. He's trying to spring him for the big seven points and... Everybody knows the offense has to get some momentum going, something, a big break, a big play. First down at the 30. Colter, back to pass. Sets up, now being flushed out of there, dumps it out to Williams, in trouble, hit down as he takes it in for a loss of two yards, and the Utah defense is happy. Five, Lonnie An Lawson right there making the play. Once again, Matt under good pressure from that defensive line. Looking upfield, sees the pressure. He's gonna have to dump it off. 
Seems like every time Matt throws a ball, he has somebody hanging on him. So the red shirts are everywhere defensively for Utah. And a two yard setback to the 28 yard line. This time Durham sits out to the right. Smith to the left. On second down, Kofler back to pass again. Looks up field now, fires over the middle. Durham has it, 35, still running, goes to the 40-yard line, and Darius Hall down there for what will be a first down San Diego State. So the crossing patterns against the zone defense are starting to work now. Yes, they are. Gone to it twice so far. They've had two big gains. One was nullified by a uh, clipping penalty. Come back to it. It's time Durham coming over the middle. It's right in the seam of the zone. Breaking it across and runs into a whole host, led by number 21. Tony Reed, the strong safety. First and 10, San Diego State. 19 seconds remaining in the third period. Tied up at 7-7. Sampson to the left, Smith to the right. On first down, Matt sets up. Fires over the middle, complete Botro breaks it and goes down to Utah's 37-yard line. Tight end Jim Botro. nice catch. That's a good pattern against the zone. Utah being in the zone, Botro comes down and reads the linebacker. If the linebacker comes in and he stays to the inside, Botro will break to the outside. That time the linebacker went to his outside, so he cut it into the middle and he was wide open. And that'll end the third quarter of play. As we check the scoreboard, it is San Diego State, seven, University of Utah, seven. All right, here we go, third quarter. Kofler pass, pressured and hit. As they had a safety blitz on it, Lonnie Lawson came roaring in, untouched, and nailed Kofler back at the 47-yard line. They run that blitz about three times today. Lawson coming in, this is the first time he's made any penetration to get through there. Matt never had a chance, he had his back to him. It's hard to see when you can't have eyes behind your head. Third quarter. Utah, 17 first downs. The Aztecs only nine. And this fourth quarter brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Olds, Honda, and the Mile of Cars in National City. All right, Kofler on second down, rolling right, going to keep it himself, gets a block. He's to the 40, still running, and steps out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Received a good block downfield by Bull Williams. Matt bounces off at of three Utah defenders, but ran out of real estate and had to step out of bounds. Aztecs have had 18 rushing plays for minus 13 yards. Utah 43 for 151. Kofler is 14 for 35, passing 174 yards. Intercepted twice and one touchdown. Third down nine coming up at the 37 of Utah. Big play in this football game. Aztec shows slot formation right. Sampson in motion left. Kofler back to pass. As time fires over the middle, Sampson 30. He's to the 25 to the 22 yard line. Clinton Sampson, first down San Diego State. Once again, they ran everybody deep to clear out that zone and then snuck Sampson down over the middle. It's been a very effective pattern for him so far in the second half. Matt gets good protection from his line this time. He's sitting back there. That enables Sampson to come across. Ball inside Utah's 23 yard line. Good catch. The Aztecs are on the move. They've been generating offense a little this series. And we're one minute into the fourth quarter in a 7-7 ball game. First and 10 Aztecs to the 22. Kofler to pass. Blitz is on. Dumps it off, though, and it's incomplete. Botro was being held unmercifully, and the officials didn't see it. My goodness. Unbelievable. Looked like one official was just watching him all the way. Oh, I don't know where the back judge was, unless he was watching TV. They're on man-to-man, -man, has blitz. Matt reads it, Boutreau's wide open. And there you can see it right there, number five, Lawson. He turned around. So incomplete pass brings up a second and 10 Aztecs in the 22 of the youths. Sampson to the left, Durham to the right. Huge showing blitz, Kofler back to pass. Dumps it off, Durham, he's got it, touchdown Aztecs! Matt Kofler to Darius Durham, second time today, and San Diego State takes the lead on a 22-yard touchdown pass. It's a great effort by Kofler and Durham, and number 60, Bill Goff, coming from his middle linebacker spot, draped all over him when he threw the ball. Got it out there right in front. There you see Durham cutting right in front of the defender, number nine, Charlie Reed. Great catch. 
Boy, Darius showed me something that time as Matt sure led him just beautifully. There's a happy Darius Durham and Matt Kofler on the sideline as the Aztecs lead 13-7. Meyer to try the extra point. Out of the hold of Jeslick. Ball is down, kicks on its way, and it is perfect. So San Diego State goes on top of Utah by a score of 14 to 7 with 13.46 to play in the ballgame. We'll be back right after this. XETV6 presents an action-packed week of Kung Fu adventure. This week on the 4 o'clock movies, Fists of Fury Week strikes Monday at 4 with Fists of Bruce Lee. Tuesday, see Bruce Lee, the man, the myth. It's Fist of Fury 2, Wednesday. The action continues Thursday with Return of the Tiger. And Friday, a legend comes to life. Darius Durham. 14 to 7 to score. Aztecs lead. A lot of football left. 12, 15 remaining on the clock. Rice Stadium, Salt Lake City. Sampson out to the left. Durham to the right. The running backs are Williams and Ellis. <laughs> Kofler on first down. Matt rolls out to the right, looks upfield. Looking for Durham, nobody's open, so Matt, still in trouble, running the ball, now starts to throw, and it's knocked out of his hands, out of bounds, he'll call it an incomplete pass, and the Aztecs were a little bit lucky there. Sure was. It's a good break for the Aztecs. Could have been a fumble. See Matt rolling out, trying to get a little more time. Comes Clark, number 99, off the block of uh, Williams. Chasing him out there. Matt slips one tackle there. Here comes another youth defender. Didn't quite get the number there. Clark gets in on it. It's very close to being a fumble. What he had his arm going forward. Matt's really a slippery guy. I've never sure seen anybody break tackles on, like he does. Second and 10 Aztecs operating from their own 33 yard line. Smith to the left, Durham to the right. Kofler's back to pass. Now dumps it off. Complete. Smith, 35, 40, foot race. Gets a block from Durham beautifully and goes to midfield. Oh, nice play. Bill Smith and Darius Durham showed me something coming back to help out. Yes, he did. They cut Utah on a man-to-man -man coverage. Smith was on number, tw or number 26. Taylor was on Smith. He just beat him right across the middle. For so a nice game. Bill Smith takes in another pass. Now he takes himself out of the ball game. Aztecs with a first down at midfield. Clock moving with 11.50 to play in a ball game. Clint Sampson out to the left. Durham to the right. Right here, Randy, let's go! Kofler looks over the defense of Utah. Showing blitz. Matt back to pass, quarterback draw. Much running room. Still going at the 40. Continues to run at the 30. The 20. Fumbles the ball. Loose ball. Sampson, no! The ball's recovered in the end zone by Utah for a touchback. Oh, what a play. Matt reading blitz, the middle linebacker jumped in a whole off tackle. He just, knowing that they were going to blitz, the middle was wide open. Ran that draw right up there. Caught from behind and fumbled the ball. Scramble. Utah gets it in the end zone. So what looked like a great play for the Aztecs, possible six, turns out to be a turnover. Here it is again. Matt just right up the middle. There's nothing there. It's going. I think number five. Uh, awesome. Lawson coming from his strong safety spot. He was blitzing from the top of the screen. Here's where he gets hit and fumbles. Lawson just puts his arm right on the ball and knocks it right out. I believe Sam uh, Sampson has a chance at it. Sampson and Reed. And Sampson can't fall on fall it. it. And into the end zone. Into the end zone for a touchback. Too bad. Bill Goff, linebacker. So he is down injured. And while they tend to him, we'll take a break. 11.24 to go. Let's return to the action as the Aztecs have the ball at the 20-yard line. They lead 14-7 and nine and a half minutes to go in this football game. Darius Durham sits out to the left, Clint Sampson to the right. The setbacks, Ellis and Williams. On first down, Sampson in motion. Kofler, draw, Bull Williams, hits it as he gets it. Still running, but they're gonna stop the play. <laughs> as Bull Williams being chased all the way back to the five, just threw the ball out of bounds. Crowd doesn't like it. <laughs> comes out of the snow and back out of the field. But they say his forward progress was stopped as he had no chance in the draw. They were really coming. Steve Clark, 99, was back there about as fast as Matt was. We'll see it again. Here comes Clark. He just beats, beats the block, and he gets there just as well as handed off to Bo Williams. Bull's fortunate he held on to the ball. So the loss all the way back to the 14 is a six-yard setback. 
Second down, 16, San Diego State. Durham to the right, and Smith in the slot right. Now Smith in motion left. Coker to pass. Looks upfield, dumps it off. Durham too low, he couldn't call, haul it in. Incomplete. Durham was open over the middle. Utah was blitzing. Matt hurried that just a tad bit. The Aztecs need a first down desperately. Now facing an uphill climb as they are third and 16. Kofler today, 17 for 41 for 228 yards. Been intercepted twice and thrown two touchdowns, both for Darius Durham. So on third and 16, he needs one here. Sampson in motion left. Kofler, quarterback draw. And he's hit and up for a loss at the 12. That was Bob Leggins, an outside linebacker. So the Utes defense rising up. They played well all game. They've held San Diego, uh, kept their offense very inactive and ineffective all day. Liggins blitzing from his outside up the middle. So the Aztecs are going to have to punt the ball over to Utah. Jeslin will be kicking from around the goal line. Waiting for it are Johnson and Wilson for the Utes. It's about the eighth punt of the day for Mike Jeslin. Good snap, but a short kick. And it goes out of bounds in Aztec territory. So Jeslin finally gets off a poor one after punting well all day. And the ball goes out at the 38-yard line. Oh, what a break for Utah. A great field position. Ferguson's coming back in, so Utah may be going back to their running offense right now. Only a 26-yard punt. 14-7, Aztecs lead, and Utes with a big opportunity now. First and 10 at the San Diego State 38-yard line. Trying to tie this ball game up. 8-17 to play in a ball game. Full house backfield. Monroe, Johnson, and Richardson. Ferguson on first down. Back to pass, pressured, hit, steps back, throws to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. Can you believe that? Great coverage by Vernon Dean. He was step for step. He went for the ball, and he just slipped. Well, I, I don't really know if he came down in bounds either. That's, that's another big question. Boy, that's amazing. 27, Tony Graham, I believe, made the catch, wasn't it, Ron? Yes. And he just fell right over Vernon Dean into the end zone. Utes may go for two here. No, they got Alvarez, the kicker, on. Still plenty of time in the ballgame. They figure with 8.09 left, they'll probably have another possession. But you can't fault Vernon Dean on that. He was covering, couldn't, Perfect. Have, couldn't have been covered any better. So Alvarez will try to tie it up in a 14-13 ball game. He's been perfect all year. Ball is down. The kick is on its way. And it's good. So just like that, Utah scores. Ferguson to Graham. It's 14-14, 8.09 to play, and we'll be back after this. We join the action. Utah ball, first and 10. Let's see if the defense now can dig in. First and 10, Utah at the 34. Ferguson remains the quarterback. It's a full house backfield. Give is to Monroe, and he goes nowhere. Not a, Carl Monroe, the tailback, hit down at the 34-yard line. 6.20 to play in a ballgame. Good play by the center of that line. Number 93, Mike Vance, playing the nose tackle. Stocking it up there, and Bill Fairbrother and Ellen Dale coming in, helping out, along with Mike Fox. Ball at the 35-yard line, so a one-yard game from Monroe. Graham sits out to the right, Tehan to the left. Formation this time. Quick pitch to Monroe from the right side, and he goes to the 40 to the 42 yard line and is tripped up there. Making a stop for San Diego State, Rick Boyer and Alan Dale. So Utes now looking at a third and two. So again, the Aztec defense called on. Try to make a big play here on third and two. Go to 
splitbacks. On third down, Ferguson under center. And he gets to Monroe, hitting the backfield, and smacked down by the Aztecs. Oh, my. Like Todd Seaball was in there from his linebacker spot. Did enough damage to turn him around. Wait for help. Brad Williams in there, too. Brad's having a fine day at defensive tackle. Boy, big defensive play. On third and two, Aztecs halt Utah. Critical time with five minutes to play in the game. Spear to punt for the Utes. Donnie Roberts awaiting it. Spear kicking from about the 30. It's a good snap. And almost blocked. Oh, they're going to call a roughing the kicker on Daryl Hall. And that's going to really hurt the Aztecs. That's the second roughing the kicker. The last time they did it, Utah went down to score seven points. Boy, Doug Scoville was out in the middle of the field. The Aztecs are really upset. As Hall came right up the middle. That'll be a first down for Utah, just when the Aztecs had him stopped. That's right. A lot of times that call is just like a pass interference call, but isn't a real obvious roughing of the kicker, then uh, it's up to the official. It's just a judgment call, and he felt like he interfered with him, which I thought the kicker had his foot on the ground. I thought so, too. But we don't wear the stripes there, Ronald. Yeah, I guess not. So the walk-off takes the ball into Aztec territory at the 44-yard line, so a real big break for Utah. Four and a half to play in the game, still tied at 14, and the Utes have the ball. They're threatening now. Ferguson on first down. Long count. And gives to Rogers running laterally. He breaks it at still going to the 30, all the way to the 29. Aztecs appear to have him stopped, but he's just got out of there for big yardage. Rogers is very quick. He cuts his excellent uh, maneuverability. Just nothing more than a lead play. Blocking, he gets a little hole. Runs up field here. He sees a little daylight to the left. He gets a little help from the official there. Cuts across. He's a quick runner. Mike Fox coming over, making the play. Vernon Dean helping out. First down again, now at the 29-yard line. That's the defense has to make something happen. Rodgers again, hit by Alan Dale, who came hammering in there. Brought him down at the line of scrimmage for no good. Rodgers today, 22 carries, 107 yards. And they shake hands, Dale and Rodgers. Quite shake hands, Ron. Got there after the game, shake hands. Yeah. During the ball game. One yard gain, second and nine. Another Three. shot of Allen Dale coming in. 344 to go. Back to live action. Ferguson. Rogers again, right side, tripped up. Ball scored for a couple to the 25. And now Utah getting into field goal territory. Utes trying to run that clock down. Seaball making the stop. So here we go. Utah with a third down and five at the 25 of San Diego State. Utah 14. won't run anything wide here. They'll try to keep the ball in the middle of the field, so it'll be an easy placement for the field goal. Johnson and Rogers are the setbacks. Ferguson on third down. Draw. Rogers hit missed. Still running and goes a couple more yards upfield to the 21, where he is short of the first down. Looked like they had him stop, but just out fine athletic ability by Rogers, who now helps Jerome Franey up. He's seen a lot of Franey today. Jerome's made many tackles on Rogers. It's a quick draw play. They wanted to keep it in the middle of the field. There was nothing open there, so he broke it to the outside. Franey fighting off a block here, making the tackle. Get held by Mike Fox, number 27. Vernon Dean coming in. So it's fourth down. The Utes now will try a field goal. The line of scrimmage is a 22-yard line. Two and a half minutes to play in a ball game. Alvarez, who is nine for 14 in field goals, kicking this one from the 29. So it's a 39-yard field goal. He's kicking from the left hash mark out of the hold of Tehan. Gil Alvarez gets his snap. The kick is on its way. Flags down. The kick, I believe, was wide, but we got flags down. Let's see what the call is. It's apparently against Utah. 
Delay of game is the call. Took too long kicking the ball. Delay of game, Utah. Now the officials came out of the end zone. I didn't even look at the kick. I believe they missed it though, but the officials did not indicate. I think the Essex wanted to climb it and take the football. I think they stopped it before he even kicked the ball yeah. though. So it's going to be a five yard walk up. He'll get another shot. Here you see the official explaining. So the walk off moves the line of scrimmage back to the 27. Now they'll have a 44 yard field goal. A little longer and from the hash mark. It's a little tough for, uh, for the left hash mark. Right, Averez trying a 44 yard field goal. Ball is down, the kick is on its way. This one looks pretty good, and it is good. He got his foot into that one, he had a lot of room to spare. Four-yard field goal. There it is again. Splits it right down the middle of the uprights. Gil Alvarez of Utah puts the Utes in front 17 to 14. So the distance did not hurt him, nor the delay of game penalty. Now 2.05 to play in the game. The Aztecs have some work to do. What's been a very tight ball game. Both teams have squandered many opportunities. That's right. They're playing giveaway today. Uh, Utah had a lot of opportunities to score early in the ball game. San Diego State was inside the 20, inside the 15, three or four times today, and only capitalized on it once. So Alvarez will now kick off as he is the hero of the day so far for Utah. Mike Fox and Donnie Roberts back deep for San Diego State. Fox and Roberts hoping to get a good run back. Aztecs need it. Alvarez poised. And now he approaches the ball and kicks it. A low kick. Bounds at the 15. Fox takes it at the 10. Back up to the 20. Looking for some running room. Still running at the 30. And Fox brings it all the way back to the 34-yard line. So a pretty good field position for the Aztecs at the 34. Let's go to work offensively. We have a minute 59 to do it. Matt's going to get hot. This is time for him to get hot. Uh, so far, Matt has not been real sharp today. He's hit Darius Durham twice on touchdown passes. 159 to play in a ball game. 17-14, Utah leads. First down, Aztecs from the 34. Copeland back to pass. Pressure rolling out of there and sacked. Number 89, Mark Anderson. It went to a four-man line, which is stunning with the defensive ends and tackles, with the tackles coming to the outside and the ends sweeping around behind him. Anderson came in for pretty free. All the way back at the 22-yard line. Second and 23 after that 13-yard loss. Kofler, no huddle, quickly. Calls a play, back to pass. Looks up field, fires, Durham. Sliding catch, Darius has it. At, oh, they caught it incomplete. It's hard to tell if it hit the, hit the turf before Darius got it because he had his back to us. He was blocked out. Matt, three-step drop, quick pass. Boom, wide open, sliding into the zone. So, it's hard to tell from here. 127 to play in a ball game. Utah leads 17-14. Aztecs with a third and 22. Need a big play. Copeland back to pass. Steps up. In trouble. Now fires incomplete. Nobody there. So the Aztecs unable to move the ball. Got a lot of pressure from 89 Mark Anderson and 99 Steve Park. Seems like Steve Park's been in the backfield all afternoon for San Diego State. Well, 28,513 fans at Rice Stadium on their feet and very happy now. As the Aztecs face a fourth and 23, and they're going to go for it with a bit of 20 to play in this ball game. Well, they really have to go for it. You're down by three points. You have nothing else to lose. Hopefully Durham. they can pick up the first down right here. Durham to the left, Sampson to the right. On fourth down. 
Matt, quarterback draw, running, and not gonna go there, and he's hit down at the 25-yard line. So the Aztecs' last big shot, offensively, failed to move the ball. Matt shaking hands with one of the Utes, goes off the field, as on fourth down, the Aztecs fail to make it, and Utah takes over the ball. Well, the Aztecs will really be thinking about this one because they had many opportunities squandered. They could have blown the game open in the first half. They had a lot of opportunities, especially in the first quarter. So Utah will just try to run the clock out now with a minute 14 left to play and try to remain unbeaten in the whack. On first down, Ferguson sets his club and gives to Richardson, the fullback. Hits over the right side, goes to the 21-yard line, stacked up there. Aztecs call a timeout, start to stop the clock. Minute, minute seven to play. Final score, so now, Tice Ferguson three. talks to that man, Wayne Howard. Comes back onto the field. They'll try to roll that clock. Aztecs obviously would hope for a fumble and try to force one to get the football back. Alvarez of Utah with a 44-yard field goal with 205 to go, putting the Utes on top by three, 17-14. Ferguson now on second down. Gives again fullback Richardson. Richardson up the middle, takes it to the 20-yard line. San Diego State hammers him down there. Aztecs digging for the football, trying to force it loose. And now call a timeout after a two-yard gain. And 57 seconds on the clock. And you see fullback Rob Richardson. As I'm sure he'll get the ball again on this upcoming play, third down. Third and five. The Aztecs have one timeout left, correct? Right. Taken two. And don't forget the national champion, the University of Utah women's gymnastics team. So the Aztecs scored first in the opening period, but 9.07 to go on a seven-yard pass from Copeland to Durham after a fumble, which they went 23 yards in seven plays. Utah scored in the second quarter on a long, beautiful drive of 82 yards in 17 plays. Dale Rogers from three yards out, tied up at seven. That's where we were at halftime. Neither team scored in the third period. Both had opportunities. Fourth period, early, the Aztecs scored on an 84-yard drive in 11 plays, Kofler to Darius Durham with 22 yards. Looked to be in good shape, 14 to seven. Immediately stopped Utah, but uh, then the drive after that, Utah got the ball and scored again on a pass from Ferguson to Graham of 38 yards to tie it. The Utes stopped the Aztecs and then ultimately got a field goal from Alvarez from 44 yards out to make it 17-14, and that's where we stand now. Third and five, Utah, 57 seconds to play in a ball game. Full house backfield, Rogers returns. Ferguson, back to pass, rolling out himself. He's at the 20, still running. Fox gets him and runs him out of bounds, but it's a first down. Tice Ferguson, nice play. Faked everything in the middle, figuring that's where San Diego State's gonna be waiting for the ball, and takes it out himself, goes around for a nice game, picks up the first down, and that should just about wrap it up for Utah. Correct me if I'm wrong, no run. There were two roughing the punters, against San Diego State and sure. Utah State scored on both times, didn't they? One I was a touchdown. They did, yes, and one a field goal. One a field goal. So now at the 14-yard line, the Utes with a first down after that run by quarterback Tice Ferguson, a senior out of San Jose. Now I'm sure they'll just try to run the clock down from the 14-yard line. Ferguson goes back and down on one knee just to run the clock down 31 seconds, 30 seconds showing. And that should just about do it. Aztecs do call a timeout to stop the clock with 26 seconds. It's probably just one more play left. That's their last timeout. Utah will do the same thing. Ferguson will go back, lie down on the ball, and that'll be it. So San Diego State had a real opportunity to win this football game. Aztecs came in fired up. Very close a couple of times. They did block a couple of punts. Also came up with two interceptions, one by Alvin Bush, one by Vernon Dean. Fumble on a punt that hit one of the receivers of Utah. As he and, tried to get out of the way, he slipped. And Matt Kofler had a run that looked to be for a touchdown as he got to about the 15-yard line, was hit from behind and fumbled the ball into the end zone where Utah recovered. Of course, that would have really put it away. That sure would have. But not to be today. So the Aztecs must get ready now for Wyoming next Saturday night at home. Try to regroup. 26 seconds to play, second down, 13, Utah. 
Ferguson back, goes down on one knee, and he'll just run the clock out as the Essex should be unable to stop the clock. 19, 18 seconds, and that'll do it, as Utah will move to 7-1, and one, and more importantly in the WAC, 4-0. and zero. Aztecs will fall to 4-3 and three on the year, and 2-3 and three in the WAC. And six seconds ago, and that should do it, at Rice Stadium in Salt Lake City, Utah. And as you see the players now watching the clock expire, and there's the gun that ends the football game with Utah beating San Diego State 17-14. We'll be back. Comments from head coach Doug Scoble right after this. The University of Utah defeats San Diego State by a score of 14 to seven, a very frustrating game for the Aztecs. After the game, Matt Kofler in the locker room was kind of blaming himself for the loss because he felt that he didn't have as good a game as he felt he should. Well, I don't think any one person lost that football game, and, and certainly not him because he made a lot of big plays for us too, and he was under a lot of pressure from that defensive line. Now, Doug, in the ball game, I thought the Aztec defense really played superb. Really, Utah only had one drive in a whole game. Yes, they, they played excellent football. They, they were up. They were ready for the game. They were swarming. They did an outstanding job. Especially, I think we should note a couple of players like Vernon Dean and Jerome Franey. Franey, uh, Franey's really on. coming on. Jeez. Yes, he's he's a he's converted from a running back. Uh, Dave Atkins, this spring said, "Gee, he's a good athlete, but I just don't think he's a running back." So we moved him to linebacker, and he's done a super job for us. All right. So San Diego State's record now falls to four and three, and in the WAC they are two and three. Next up, University of Wyoming Saturday night at San Diego Stadium. It's a 7:30 kickoff. Kind of unique, Doug, because uh, we don't see here in the West that often a wishbone team, and that's what the Wyoming Cowboys present. Yes, they're a very fine football team. Uh, done a great job, and uh, they've got a great quarterback in Phil Davis and a tough defense. It's going to be another tough football game. Okay, so is this make it difficult for you and your coaches preparing for a wishbone team because you don't see them that often? It, it takes a little extra pre preparation. It certainly does, but <clears throat> uh, Bernie Miller and Cole Proctor and Steve Schaefer have all had experience defensing the wishbone, so I think we'll do a good job. Okay, now, do you have any thoughts about the Aztecs being down after the three losses, or can you get them back up again? Well, if we can still get that intensity that we had against Utah and the spirit that we had, and uh, they realized that uh, the ball had a lot to do, the way it bounced uh, had a lot to do with that loss, and if they'll just come back and play that same way, uh, I think we can win. Okay, and I don't want to second guess or put words in your mouth, but maybe the officials will be a little more intense this week, too. Boy, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I sure do. All right, and so it is homecoming, 7.30 kickoff, San Diego Stadium, San Diego State Aztecs against the Wyoming Cowboys. And here at the Hilton Hotel in Mission Bay, this is the Doug Scoville Show for today. <laughs>